De Morgan's theorem. I tend to say De Morgan's theorem is break the line, change the sign, or make the line, change the sign. On a data sheet, it shows it like this. So we've got A and B is equal to not A or not B. I'll just demonstrate on this one. We've got A and B. We break the bar there, and then we change this sign. And then we've got the nor version, A nor B equals not A and not B. So A nor B, break the bar there, and change the sign. So we've got some examples here. So the first example is this one here. Now we're going to break the bar here and we're going to change that sign. There we go. So we've broken the bar and we change the sign. Now important to note on this one, if we got it written this way, A and not B or not C, it doesn't come out as this. So we see this expression comes out as this one. Now importantly, uh, what we can do, if we've got two things anded together, we can think of brackets being around them, and you can't make a bar which goes over a bracket. So on this one here, what I've done, I've broken the bar here, and I've put brackets around these to show that these together are anded with the A. Now this one's more straightforward. If everything's anded together, we're OK. We can just uh, make the bar and then change the sign on this one. And the same with this one. What we're going to do, we're going to break the bar, change the sign. We've got two bars now over A. So if we've got two bars of the same length, we can just remove them. So it comes out as A or not B. And same with this one here. So we're going to break the bar, change the sign. We've got two bars over the A and only over the A. So those two bars will just cancel out. <laughs> 